Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely Monday. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Mark, and today's video we're gonna be installing plastic dip. Not so much installing, but we're gonna be erasing the chrome off the Honda emblem using plastic dip. And for those of you guys who don't know what are what's plastic dip, it's basically a spray paint that you can eventually peel off if you don't like it or if you don't like how it turns out, or if you just get tired of it, you can just peel it off, and that's basically what it is. And I'm gonna do the front as well as the rear, but in the video I'm just gonna show you how to do the rear. So what you wanna do first is, you just wanna make sure you clean off every little dirt around it. See, I, my car is filthy right now. So uh, what I'm gonna use to clean it is just Chemical Guys Wireless Car Spray. I'm just gonna spray it down and wipe it down with a microfiber towel. And unfortunately for me, I cannot find any microfiber towels, so we're just gonna use an old shirt of mine to just you know wipe it down and make sure I just get every drip of it. So we're just gonna spray it down, you know, and just make sure everything is clean. So the purpose of having it cleaned is so that when you put the plastic dip on it, there's no dirt or debris stuck in the inside. And when you do have dirt and debris in the inside, what tends to happen is that when you put the plastic dip on and it dries and it's completely dried, you will see these little bubbles forming over or under underneath the plastic dip. And that's all coming from all the dirt and the debris that's left in there. So you wanna make sure that you get everything off. And if you're using a paper towel to wipe it off, Make sure there's no lint on it because, believe me or not, the lint will actually pop out as well. I know this from previous times I've done this and from the mistakes I've done as well from my past. So once you have it cleaned, we're gonna wanna use either painter's tape right here. You use painter's tape, masking tape, whatever kind of tape you want as long as it's easy to peel off. Personally, I believe this is the easiest because you just put it on there and when you peel it off, it doesn't leave any residue. And that's why I use it. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to put tape, make a square around the Honda emblem and probably cover up the spoiler as well because plastic dip tends to get everywhere. And this doesn't only work for Hondas. I mean, it's just any emblem of the car. So you could do it in a Toyota, Hyundai, an Acura, whatever kind of car you want. Just make sure you put the tape around the emblem itself. And you'll see why in a little bit. But right now, let me go set this up and I'll be right back. So this is how I did mine. I put a little bit extra because like I said earlier, it does go everywhere you spray it on. So I just tried going a little far out here and a little far out there. I didn't really care too much for the bottom. But this part, I made sure to cover this up because if, if it gets in there, it's gonna be hard to get out because it's like in hard reached places. And you wanna get these tape because when you put the layers in, like when you put four coats of it, you wanna peel it off so it peels off the plastic dip that's right here. And when you peel it off, it's gonna rip around the whole H thing. So that part is why the tape is really important. And the next step after that is to just grab your plastic dip, you know, spray it down one coat and wait like five, 10 minutes and do a second coat. And basically until you're satisfied with how much is in there. And what I like to do as well when you work with a plastic dip is before you spray it on, you are gonna want to spray something that you can see the plastic dip on so like this you're gonna want to see which way the paint goes since I sprayed it see how it goes this way it's why this way going that way and if I were to spray it and it goes long way this way then I'd probably just hold the can like this and go sideways if that makes sense I don't know if that makes any sense but you basically make sure that the wideness is going this way so you can just go across the H like this instead of upwards so that's why I always double check when I spray or right before I spray the H so here we go we're just gonna put one coat on it for now and I'll show you how it looks. Uh, that's how one coat looks for me. Uh, it's not gonna cover everything up. It's just the first coat and this is exactly what I mean by it's gonna go everywhere. As you could tell, there's already a bunch of spray paint on the outside. So we're gonna have to wash our car after this. So we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna do our second coat after. Also, for those of you that are really impatient, I advise you not to rush this because once you put too much and you don't wait your time and you spray it again, it's gonna cause like these dripping markings and you're not going to want that because once it dries up you're just going to see where it dripped on so just be patient you know if you if you tend to be impatient and you don't like waiting one thing you can do is just spray one layer go inside eat watch tv whatever and next thing you know five minutes has gone by you could check on it see if it's still sticky or whatnot and then do it again and that's basically it don't rush it you know if you want it to look good you know it's uh definitely time consuming that's one thing you need to keep in mind of but basically just don't rush it because you're gonna like it. You're gonna like how it looks when you don't rush it, but when you rush it, you're gonna learn and see that it does cause drippings and you have to take it off and redo it again. And it's just, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna run into that issue. Cool, so now that the first layer is done, and you can tell if it's done by touching this one, and if it 
if it doesn't go anywhere then you know it's good make sure you don't touch the h because you never know if you have like lint on your fingers or anything like that so once again what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that there's nothing's clogged and it's spraying the proper way and we're just gonna spray it down again cool so that's our second layer and we're gonna wait five to ten more minutes make sure that dries and do more layers after that so second coat is pretty much done drying uh, like I said again just make sure you touch it on the outside see if it's dry or if it's still a little wet and then just shake your bottle and spray going straight make sure you get rid of all the dried excess and then let's go again and there it is as you can see now it's about 50% transparency and 50% non-transparency. Basically, you're just gonna keep doing this over and over again until, like I said, you're comfortable with where it's at. I'm probably gonna do two or three more layers after this one. I'll let you guys know how much total I did. So that way you guys, when you guys do it as well, you guys could have an idea of what I did and how much I did. And usually for each coat, I go over it once. I go over it once again, from top to bottom, top to bottom, let it dry, and from there, that's basically it right now I'm waiting five minutes in between the coats it's not taking that long to dry up so that's a good thing so I have like a lot of burps slash hiccups because I just drink soda so yeah about like five minutes uh, give or take right now it's pretty hot so it dries pretty fast then again if it's cold it won't dry as fast so that's why I said five to ten minutes sometimes it can even take up to 15 minutes if you live in a really cold area so I'll keep you guys updated I'll let you guys know how much coats I did total and I'll show you how it looks and how to peel it off and everything. So just give me a couple more minutes until this thing dries. I'll do my coatings. I'll be right back. One thing you can do while you're waiting for the rear to dry up is just just get ready for your front. You know, set it up. Don't mind it. I know it looks shitty, but you know what? At the end of the day, what are you gonna do anyways? You got to peel it off. So I didn't care how it looked. I noticed how I did go a little bit crazy. I went a little bit crazy because after I did the rear, I noticed how much of the side it goes to. And I'm not gonna do the front right now because as you can tell, it's really windy. And I don't know if you noticed as well, but I'm doing the rear because the rear is inside the garage. And I'm in a controlled environment. So no matter how windy it gets outside, it won't get windy over here. And due to that, it's not gonna go everywhere and it's not gonna you know, make your spray uneven. So once I'm done with the rear, I'm gonna swap it around and bring the front inside the garage so I can get the front done. So now we're gonna get ready for our fourth coat because it's done drying and we're gonna let it completely be done and I'll be back. So as you can see right here, I did a total of six coats and it's completely dry. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take out the outside edges of the tape. That's just the way I would like to do it. Not the inside one yet. And let's see, how can I get this part out? This one is stuck here. So we're gonna need to take out this tape, one second. So now that I have the outside tape out, as you can tell, you can see this line of just straight Plasti Dip, which will be easy to get out. I'm probably gonna use some glue on, but see how like the, the Plasti Dip right there is peeling off from the tape? That's the part we're gonna want to pull to get off of the emblem itself. And you'll see what I mean by that in a little, in a little bit. Right there, we're just peeling off the sticker little tape we put on and you'll see why that tape is crucial here in a second so as you notice we just pulled off that tape and now we're left with this what you want to do is you want to get a side so just like pull it in just like rub it off a little bit so you can get a grip of the plastic dip let's see here you're gonna want to just peel it off Kind of hard to do with one hand, but right there. That's what I want to show you. So when you pull it off, you see how it's going around the emblem? That's because that's what the tape is for. See how it's pulling it off so clean? It's exactly what we wanted. So that's why that tape was crucial. So now we're just peeling around the H. I can't stress it enough of how easy this mod is. At AutoZone, they sell a can for $9.99. Obviously, that's a little bit too pricey just for Plasti Dip. If you go to Walmart, they sell it at my local Walmart. They sell it at three for $3.99 for one can. And just see that—that's like really, really easy. So I'm gonna peel the rest of this sides off, 
and then I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the inside ones. So you give one second. Right now down. for this part, you're gonna want to grab something sharp, but not sharp enough to, you know, scratch your car. So we're gonna go to the, like a very, very edged corner, and we're going to just like slowly peel it back, you know, just like that, effortlessly. Bam, and just like that, it's coming off, and that's how you know you did it right. That's why you want to make sure you add just enough plasti dip, so when you peel it off, everything comes off all together. That's really all you're doing. I'm just trying to get enough length so I can just peel it off my fingers. And just like that, you literally have a Plasti dipped emblem. So I'm gonna continue doing that with the rest of these. Like I said, just go off a corner, push it slowly, and do the same thing right here in the edge or this edge, and same thing at the bottom, all the way around, and you'll have it done. And I'll show and you that. you have it, folks. Just a little, you know, a little quick tutorial on how to do Plasti dip came out really really good i didn't expect it to come out this good i thought i'd get like a little bubble here and there but literally you are perfectly fine there's no extra edges out here there's no extra edges in here as you can see perfect and it's not fully cured yet which i kind of messed up on i thought it was so right there i have like a little fingerprint but you know no one's gonna notice that when you're driving it's just gonna stick out black now all what all that's left to do is just the uh, the front so now I'm just gonna pull out that car out and reverse my car in and then get the front. So that's that's how it is gonna be the inside as well. So right here, you know, I didn't care too much to put tape on the inside mainly because all you have to do is just get some goo gone and a, a Q-tip and just rub it and it'll literally fall off as if nothing was there. I did order side markers today. I ordered the smoke side markers with the white light and I also did order new, not HIDs, but LEDs because I don't want to run the blasts and everything. <clears throat> Sorry, my, vo my voice is a little like deep and raspy. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's just right now. But then again, thank you guys again for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this, or not a video, but it's more like a tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please give this, I'm so bad with my endings. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. Turn on the post notifications down below as I do upload a video every Monday. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.